Okay, what's good, YouTube? This keeps happening to me. This keeps happening. Like almost every other day, I drop a new news a news video, and then IGN drops something from Dragon's Dogma Two. So I end up doing two videos a day. I'm not mad at it because content keeps on going. Content's flowing out. If you don't watch my news videos, you'll probably watch the reaction videos or vice versa. But IGN just dropped. Well, this was seven hours ago. I was at work about seven hours ago. Um, so I just uploaded the newest news video, which is Indiana Jones Avowed in Xenoblade 3, um, like literally like two minutes ago. So we're going to react to this one. This is uh, the Evolution of Pawns developer interview for IGN first. I haven't seen anything from it. I was on the news site for Push Square, and I saw that they had something new. So we're going to react to this now also. So without further ado, let's get into it. Dog, I'm so hyped, dog. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like these reaction videos also. I'll keep on doing them. I told myself after they show Archer, Magic Archer, and um, Mystic Knight, I'm going to go on Blackout from the game. This time around, we surveyed lots of players before creating the pawns. It's Suno's back. <laughs> we had a lot of feedback saying the pawn in the first game repeated the same dialogue too much, so we focused first on that. Okay, so they're gonna not say the same thing all the time. We done whatever we can to keep pawns from repeating the same lines multiple times. <laughs> that does kind of get annoying a little bit, but I don't, I don't mind it. It's an RPG. That's what they do RPGs. Pawns and other NPCs play a major role in the game. We want the pawns to feel like a friend. <laughs> Who's playing the game uh, is something that is next to you and giving you tips. I think that's what that said. I don't know. Like, hey, let's go this way. Or, in the case, this is the way to do that. Uh, that sort of guiding guidance. It's like having a friend there guiding you in an enjoyable way. I like that. I mean, the pawns do that in the first game also, but I'm just... Yeah, you also might hear somebody in the background. It's my little brother, but it's fine. Um, oh, the, the harpies! It's the first time I'm seeing the harpies in the new game. Well, at least my first time I'm seeing the harpies. Pawns in the previous game did... It. They each have their own. Well, I don't know if that's it. But while it would be nice for there to be an infinite number of personalities, which we progresses up into a number of easy understood elements, each has a different voice actor and tone of speech. Okay. Oh, they actually like. Okay. Okay. You could be a nonchalant, jaunty. That's cool. It should make it even easier for players to, as well as pick up the base of their preferences and certain personalities. Okay. As well as pick them based on, I don't know what that said. What else was there? If you want to think of it as in terms of, I can't, I'm not going to read everything because I can't read all of it. <laughs> That's how you know it's like, it's live. The Griffin. I can't wait to fight the Griffin, bro. Freely play through quests uh, in this game. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different quests in the game, not just specific main quests. I'm gonna do almost everything in this game. Just wait. I can't wait. In a way where the only particular pawns you take along in the quest will learn from that quest. Okay. So not all pawns will know what to do in the quest if you've done it before. But finding pawns with some... I don't know what he just said. But that's nice, though. That's nice, though. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so... That is going to do it for this video also. This video will just showcase how pawns are going to act in Xenoblade. Not Xenoblade. I'm sorry. And, um... Dragon's Dogma 2, Xenoblade was on my mind for some reason. Um, but it's interesting. It's interesting how um, they're actually like listening to player feedback from the first game and saying that a lot of players didn't like how the pawns would yell out the same stuff over and over. And now they're trying to make sure that 
they implement that in the new game so pawns don't repeat dialogue several times. Like sometimes, like when when your pawn or your your partner pawn or whatever would see an enemy, they would just scream out harpy or something like that, and it'd be it'd be several times. Every time they say harpy, they say the same thing or whatever. So I'm glad that they're implementing implementing that and to like actually making your pawns like you know maybe less annoying to some people i mean i didn't i don't really care that the pawns do that but it's whatever but it's your boy kaiba it's late it's like almost midnight here um thank y'all for watching the news video that just went up and for watching this reaction video i'm so excited for dragon's dogma 2 i know i said every time i do a reaction video and it's crazy how every time i do a news video ign has something new on um dragon's dog but and i do a reaction video right after i just uploaded a news video but thank you guys for stopping by the kaiba corp i will see you guys in the next reaction video or the next news video stay easy be breezy see you guys in the next one peace